you know, we've been talking about there's been many voices out there. And there's voices for every type of thing you imaginable. There are people, they have, they have platforms. And they want to get their views and their belief systems out there. And they want to have a platform. And they use no matter what they can to use their platform to, to change people's views, mm. to mobilize people into their way of thinking. Mm. Wow. You know, they want to be able to change people to, to, to their solutions in life. That there are many problems that we're having in this world. Mm. But sometimes they have their own platform for their own benefit. Mm. Instead of benefit to all mankind. Mm. We've got different groups that, you know, they're trying to promote their group, their sexuality or their different things. Or their, the Green New Deal or, you know, all different things. Or, and then, then there's some other groups, you know, that we have people have these platforms. And they use no matter what they can to do their platforms. Even athletes are using their platform. Here they are, basketball players or football players or baseball players, to carry out their agenda. And said, yeah, just because I'm superstar, whatever sport it is, you got to listen to me, and I know I'm right, even though it's way out in left field. Nah. You know, they're just saying to promote, mm -hmm. and people use different platforms all the time mm -hmm. to just try to motivate. Well, I have to tell you. We have a platform that we don't use. We have been given a platform. And, you know, in John 14, 6, it says, Jesus said I am, unto him, I am the way, the truth, and life, that no man come to Father except by me. Glory. We have a platform to lift up the name of Jesus. Everybody else is using their platform, but our platform is Jesus. If we remember Lord, in Ephesians 2, 19, it says, Therefore we are no longer strangers or foreigners, but fellowships with the saint of the household of God. But verse 20 is very important. Is that and are built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, which Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. So we have to understand that Jesus is the chief cornerstone. And that is our foundation, our foundation of our platform. Our platform is Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That is our platform. And see, sometimes we tend, tend to forget the platform that God has for us. So we have to understand that we see that we have a platform that is solid ground. Amen. We have a platform yes, that is yes. a solid rock. It is not on hypothesis or theories or what I think. It is actually the truth. And we have to understand that is our platform. And it's time that our voices be heard. Now, I want us to look at a couple things. And I want us to turn to Acts chapter 17 and look at verse 20. Two, Boy. chapter Acts seventeen, verse twenty-two. 
Now, this is Paul. It says, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive in all things you are superstitious. Well, what was his platform? What was his platform? To teach them about Jesus. But what was he doing there? He was seeing, he was being observant. I think this is part of the problem is sometimes we are not observant of things around us that we can use to lift up the name of Jesus. These other people will use their platforms and use every opportunity wow. to inject their views of their hypothesis wow. and their theories and their opinions. But here we see that he says Paul is standing there in Athens that people that worship other gods and they worship this. But he looked at this and he used what was what they believed. And he used to says, I see that you are men. I perceive that in all things you are superstitious. Well, he didn't say, well, you're dumb and this and that and other because you're superstitious, that you're totally wrong. He says, I perceive that you're superstitious. He says for, verse 23 says, For I passed by and beheld your devotion. I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship him I declare unto you. Nice. So he was using what they had and even what they believed. See, they had all these statues, uh, you know, Athena and, uh, you know, Diana and all these other statues and all these other gods that they worship out of superstition. But then he saw this. They even had a statue or a monument to the unknown God. Wow. So that gave him a chance. That opened up the door that he could use the, that platform to reach out to the other people. We have a tendency to forget that sometimes we think our only platform in life as Christians is the church building. Mm -hmm. That if we get them to the church, they'll get saved. Mm -hmm. But our platform is Jesus Christ in us and our platform is when we see openings and they're hurting in people. Nice. And so we have to understand that's where we reach people. Lord. We cannot just drag them to church and hope that they will get saved. We get Lord. them and we say, Lord, give me every opportunity. Let me use what they know or what they believe and open up that door so I can share Jesus Christ as the way, the truth, and the life. So we go on, and he says, and talking to them, he says, And God made the world and all things there are, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, dwell of not in temples made with hands. Too many times we see people, too many people are worshiping what is seen. That's the problem with these environmentalists and everything. Oh, don't get me wrong. We need to protect our land and, you know, we need to not abuse our land and everything. But we have to also have to use wisdom. Oh. But see, he is saying, what did he say? He says, God made heaven and earth. He says, but don't worship things mm. that you have made. Nah. A lot of people worship what they have done and they accomplished. Mm. What they have. Well, look at my house that I did. Look at my how financially stable I am. And they get where they worship money. Nah which was made by man. Yeah. 
So we have to understand. He says, verse 25, neither is worship with man's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he give it to all life and breath of all things. So what he's saying, don't worship things of man, but worship of the one that gave you life in the first place. Mm -hmm. Worship the one that gives us life and gives you the breath that actually breath breathed in the nostrils to give us life. So we have to understand. And then he says, verse 26, who have made one blood all nations of men to dwell on all the face of earth have determined that the times before appointed and bounds of their habitation. Verse 27. Glory. That they should seek the Lord and aptly may feel after him and find him, though he not be far from every one of us. Glory. So we have to see our platform is God. Our platform is Jesus through the blood of Jesus that made that sacrifice, that made that sacrifice. That is our platform. If you want to know what your purpose in life is to stand on that solid rock of Lord. Jesus and use those opportunity to share Christ with people. I find myself, Lord. and more times than not, if I'm just getting in a kind of casual conversation, that within five, ten minutes, there's an opening there to share God. That it might be, well, I just haven't felt good today. Or they'll talk about their family, or they talk about this. Or they talk how busy they are. You know, there's always an opportunity. If we keep it in our mind that our purpose here is to have reconciliation to bring all men to God. So we see here, and this is the thing, and it's so important here in verse 28. For in him we live and move and have our being. Mm -hmm. As certain also of your poets have said, for ye are his offspring. Again, what did he do? Mm -hmm. He brought back what they knew that he brought back to their poets something they already knew so he could build on that foundation to reach the others. See, a lot of times we have to say, well, we got to get everybody safe, but we got to meet the people where they're at. We cannot jump from here to here until we get here and level where they are. And then we get there and we build on that foundation built where they're hurt, built where they're lost, and build from there. Oh. So we see, mm -mm -mm. For, for much as then, as we are offsprings of God, we ought not to think that the God is like unto gold or silver or stone or wow. graven by art or man's device. Mm. At th at the times of this ignorance, God winked, but commanded all men everywhere to repent. Ooh, he looks at people and they worship things other than the things of God. And it says God winked. He says, well, I know. You know, have you ever winked at a person saying, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Mm, no. You know, I know. But he just says, we, I know the way it is. I know the where you're coming from. I know this. So we see that that's just a week is a momentary thing. Yeah. And he says, then he says that all men come to repentance. Well, we look at this, verse 31. It says, because he appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness that men whom he shall ordain. Wherefore, he have given assistance to all men that he have raised him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked and others said, 
we will hear you again on this matter. So Paul departed from among them. Howbeit certain men claved unto him and believed. So we look here that we see that we have a platform and that platform is to get the word of Christ to other people. And we can use no matter what circumstances, no matter what situation we are, if we will look and we will, first of all, we have to understand. We have to wait, start to look at things differently. We have to change our vision, not only our vision towards the world, but our vision of ourselves. How we see ourselves ministering to other people. How we see ourselves witnessing to others. We need to have that vision. We know in Proverbs 29, 18, it says, where there's no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth all happy is he. But we need to understand, we see where there's no vision, people perish, but also it's not the vision of the other people or what we think we sh- this, but our vision of ourselves. Do we realize that we have a platform? Do we visualize our platform in ourselves? And our platform is based on Jesus Christ, that he is our chief cornerstone, that we see that to reach out, that we we have the ability. Too many times we have a faulty vision of ourselves. And we look at ourselves totally wrong that, well, That is not the way God made me. No, God called us all to live as him, to be molded in his image. He has made us all to be reconciliation of the faith. He has all made us there. But we have to see that we sort of had to start visualizing in ourselves that, you know, we need to change that mental image of ourselves that you know God has called me and we need to change that mental image of ourselves God can use me you know he used the donkey he can use you he can use me you know this is the thing we have to understand we need to first change our vision of ourself so that we can change the visions in other people that we can be used to inspire and motivate people to come to Christ through his word that we can inspire them and motivate them that we then we can mobilize and get organized to go forth in ourselves. When we've changed our vision for ourselves, we have to inspire ourselves also. Inspire ourselves. But then we also need to mobilize ourselves and get organized and say, Lord, I don't know how to do it, but so help me direct my steps. So we go through this. And then, you know, the last thing we need to do? Do something. (laughs) That's the main thing. That we are called to action. We are called to action. Because all these other platforms are trying to bombard our mind and confuse us and say, you know, there's this and that and other. Instead of saying... You know, the only hope of glory is Jesus Christ. If we want to save the planet, the hope of glory is Jesus Christ. 
We have financial needs. The hope of glory is Jesus Christ. No matter what it is, the answer is people are out there looking for lasting and sustainable solutions to life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're looking to at all these pressing challenges, all these pressing change challenges. Yeah. And they're looking for these. But we are been given that platform that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to Father yes. but by Him. Yes. Amen. So when we look at this, yes. we see Paul used every instance he could, yes. and he built from what the people knew and started there. Yes. We can't get to the thing, well, it's automatically we share, but you got to meet where they're at and then go yes. forth yes, and go forth. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we have to realize that we have a platform mm. and we're all called to this platform. We all called, but he's also given us vision. We need to change our vision. So we can have a vision that's bigger than ourselves. See, we need things to have goals that are bigger than ourselves so we will rely on God to get us through them. Wow. If it's not bigger than ourselves, we can do them on our own. My. So when we see, Lord, give me that vision bigger. That's what we need in our churches. That's what we need here is have the vision bigger than ourselves. Bigger than ourselves. Because we've already been given the platform. Yeah. We've already been given the way, the truth, and the life. Now we just need to change our vision of ourselves and our vision for our church. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father God, thank you for giving us Jesus, the chief cornerstone, that we can build a platform to reach others for Christ. Father, help us that we will change our vision, that we will be able to see clarity in our mind yes. as you see us, how you see us, the divine purposes and yes. that you ordain for each one of us. Yes. But help us widen our vision and our scope. Yes to be able to reach others. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Help us visualize. Help us inspire ourselves and others. Yes. Help us to get organized, Father, to put things right so we can follow your leading of the Holy Spirit. And Father, give us the ability to act and go and bring many people to the Lord and build this church. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.